Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, an interesting question that came through the comments and it's something that I've seen several times. I even also had that issue here with a specific router that I had um, and I've changed it of course for what I wanted. So the question is um, the user is using its Wi-Fi and it's switching all the time between 2.4 and uh, 5 gigahertz. So, of course, the question is, how can I keep it at 5 gigahertz? One of the uh, main reasons um, this happens is often because uh, uh, Wi-Fi is named the same on both channels. So, an example here is if I go into my Wi-Fi and I ask to show available networks, you'll notice that my my connection is called YouTube Guy, and it is the only name there. Yet, my router that I have, which is a modem router from my ISP, uh, has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz capability. But they have the same name, so they show up as only one network. Then it's up to your devices to connect to the correct one. The reason they often do this is simple. is because if you go far from your router, 5 gigahertz has less range than 2.4. So it might actually fade enough that your computer will automatically switch to 2.4 to extend the range. The problem is sometimes it's not that. Sometimes it's just it just doesn't connect to the correct uh, network uh, all the time. So what can I do? How can I force my um, network to connect to 5 gigahertz only, for example. Well, one of the first tricks that you could do is separate the 5 and 2.4 gigahertz by giving them different names. So, for example, in my case, I have an app on my phone that gives me access to my router and gives me the possibility to change all of that. So, for example, I'm called YouTube Guy. Well, I might want to call YouTube Guy 2.4 and then YouTube Guy 5. This will effectively give me two different networks now. One is 5 and one is 2.4. You know which one it is. So you connect to the 5, which means it's going to stay there all the time because if you don't connect to the 2.4, it doesn't know the password for that one. So it always stays on the same network. So separate the names of the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. That will work. The other trick is if you can't do it, some ISPs block your access to certain router functionality. Sometimes they don't give you access to changing the name or what can you do? Well, one of the things that you can try is right-click on your start menu, go into the device manager. And here in your network adapters, find your Wi-Fi adapter. So mine is here, Wi-Fi 6 AX. Go into the advanced features and see if you can tell the um, adapter that you don't want to connect to everything. You want to connect to specific things. And one of them is, for example, here, 802.11n uh, uh, So if I look at it here, it's so N, A, C, and A, X. If your um, router if you know which one it is, you can force it into a specific um, connection. So say you want to have, in my case, you notice I've, I've AX is the one chosen because I want to force it to always use the latest protocol. And AX will always connect through 5 gigahertz because it's faster. So you can play with that and f try to force it into a specific mode that you want to use. Uh, so there's two places here. There's the different uh, dual bands and stuff like that. You can force it into 5 gigahertz directly here at the top. This means that your adapter will be deaf to 2.4 connections and will only see the 5 gigahertz. So there's a few things like that that you can do, and that will force it into 5 gigahertz. Um, last but not least, you might wonder why... 2.4 or 5, what's the difference and how important is it? It's not always important. It depends on your location. It depends if you have interference like the video I just made with microwave ovens. 
Or also, it depends on the speed of your internet. Uh, for, you know, high-speed internet that is at the slowest speed, just a few megabits per second, 2.4 will be fine, and changing it will not necessarily be a good idea. Also, remember that depending on the, or your router's age, it might not be possible. And 5 gigahertz usually gives you the fastest speed. So if you're on really high-speed internet, you might want to connect to a 5 gigahertz because it's going to be much faster on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.